Welcome to the tutorial setting up your project. I'm just going to jump right into it here and show you how to increase your scene length. Um, a lot of people you know might just drag across this red bar every time they feel like they need a couple extra frames added to their animation, but I'm going to let you know that's not the most efficient way to increase your scene length. What you really should do is go up to the top menu and go to scene and then click on the menu item scene length. You'll get the dialog box here and then you can enter in a very specific number or just enough frames so you feel like you don't have to keep dragging that bar uh, every time you need a couple new frames. It's across here. The next thing you should know about are your scene settings. It's, they're found under the same menu, scene settings, which brings up this dialog box with three tabs, resolution, alignment, and advanced. I'm really not going to get into the alignment or advanced too much. Uh, it's just good to know that for the advanced, uh, if you're used to working with Digital Pro, it lets you go back to the way that Digital Pro let you work with drawing elements along the z-axis, the increments in which it would push drawing elements forwards and backwards. Now for alignment, for all you Flash users out there, for you, um, an increment in the software is probably a pixel. So when you when you think of things, you think of them in terms of pixels. Uh, for all the traditional animators out there, they work in fields. And so this really pertains to those people who understand and have worked in traditional animation. I'm not going to go into this too much, but just to let you know, all the information for this tab does exist in the user guide if you want to know more about it. So what I'm going to talk about is resolution. Uh, this is the same panel that you saw in the welcome screen when you decided the resolution for this project. It has all the same standard resolutions and uh, as you can see at the bottom it shows uh, the pixel dimensions of each of these resolutions. Unlike the welcome screen, there's no uh, plus sign to add a custom resolution. So the way you would go about doing that is just to enter the dimensions you would like into any field of any of these resolutions and the moment that you make a change the save button becomes active and if you click on that you're then able to save this resolution under a different name. I'm going to cancel this because I know if I add a custom resolution to this list the only way that I can delete it is by going back to the welcome screen and deleting it from there. The other option you have is to change your frames per second. So you can do that using these little tabs at the side or you know just by typing it in, whatever. But once again, it'll consider that a custom uh, and it'll go back to its default the moment you navigate away from it. The last thing is the field of view, which doesn't really concern you right now, but it basically aligns your drawing grid to the camera in different ways. But once again, if you'd like more information on this, it's all available in the user guide. Okay. The last thing I wanted to show you is how to add a drawing layer to your timeline. Uh, there are many different ways to add a drawing layer. The fastest and easiest being just to click on this Add Drawing Layers button. So let's undo that. Or to click on this add button, um, add layers button. As you can see, there's a little black triangle at the corner which indicates that it's a drop down. And what you want to do is select drawing to add a drawing layer. Uh, you can always double click in it then to, you know, change the name or not. You can use the minus sign just above to delete it. You can also right click on the drawing layer and just say insert drawing or once again use the keyboard shortcut command R uh, which I believe in Windows is control R. You also have the option of going to the top menu and by selecting insert drawing. So as you can see there are several ways to add drawing layers which is comforting if you think about it because of the redundancy. If you can't figure out one way of going about doing something, generally there's another way of doing it, either by right-clicking, the top menu, um, buttons within the view, you know, all that stuff. So that's good to know. And I think that's it for setting up your project. Stay tuned for the next installment about the interface.